Nikon DSLRs can be used to trigger an external flash unit without the need for cables or wires. I'm Lexi Savides and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Nikon's wireless flash system. If you're a Canon user, I have a customized tutorial for you over at CNET. What you need is a Nikon DSLR with wireless flash control and a speed light that can receive the signal from your camera. This is the D800 and the SB910 flash, but this method will work on most Nikon DSLRs with a pop-up flash. You can find a full list of compatible cameras in the article. The first thing we need to do to get started is turn on the camera and enter into one of the manual exposure modes, that is P, S, A or M. Press the menu button and scroll to the custom settings menu. Find the bracketing flash option and select it. On most Nikon DSLRs, look for option E3 or flash control for built-in flash. On this next menu, we need to choose commander mode, which is right at the bottom here. The first option for built-in flash will say TTL by default. Keep this on if you want to include the output of your pop-up flash in the final exposure, Otherwise, switch to the two dashes. Leave the other options as they are. TTL for group A and B, then make a note of the channel. It's usually set to one by default. Next, pop up the flash on your DSLR as this is what's gonna trigger the external flash to fire. Move to your flash unit and turn it on. We're going to look for something called remote mode. Some Nikon flashes will have a physical switch that can be turned to remote, otherwise it will be found within the menus of your flash. Make sure our channel is set to 1 to match the camera. The rest is easy. Set your exposure on the DSLR, position the flash and take the photo. That's an easy introduction to Nikon's wireless flash system. If you want to check out the full tutorial plus heaps more tips and tricks, head over to CNET.